Good afternoon, Sunday afternoon, a warm one here in Western Mass. I have, uh, in the past on my last YouTube video account, I used to have, I did antenna, some antenna equipment that um, I would show periodically with updates and stuff. Well, today is going to be a day where I want to change my... Um, MXU 59 to this model MXU 47. This particular antenna is UHF only, and um, according to Antenna Crafts, Antenna Crafts website, its gain is um, 10.1, and the bigger one, which is the one I'm using, is 10.7. Uh, and it's another um, another 20 inches longer. I can't see how that could be that huge of a difference. And there's a reason why I'm going to actually cut back on the size of this antenna because I have my wine guard. Uh, it's 7 to 13 for my digitals in the 7 to 13 range, which have not been hooked up all winter. Um, and I want to put it on the same mast. But this is the MXU 47. So let's put this down. Um, I have I have it mostly put together right here. And I put the uh, U-bolt on. Has the built-in washers on the nuts. Like I said this is 20 inches shorter, but I wanted a lighter um, a, you know, a lighter weight when I put this up with the additional antenna. Uh, shipping weight on this says it's six pounds, and no, I don't know what it weighs. It's probably about five. The other one's probably like seven. Uh, the other antenna is very light. Um, the it's the YA. I think it's the YA seven dash 13 or something or 10 dash 713 it's the one with the 75 ohm coupling on it this one here um i actually had i bought a box of these these are basically the channel master ones that have the lowest loss i found a box of them i had there's two two more brand new ones here this one here um And just attached um, right there. So I'm I may change the feed line, but I think it's fairly new. I don't, there's not not really any issues with it. But um, I worked earlier today. I'm debating whether to uh, there's the other parts for the Yagi for the to put the Yagi bolts in. Um, I'm debating debating whether to take it down because it's going to take me probably an hour, maybe longer, especially with two antennas to uh, configure them. Oh, I also bought. I'll show you this. This is a new um, antenna craft uh, 10G222, which is uh, like 29 dB gain preamp. I uh, never had one of these. Which they give you a, they give you a bailin, but um, this is the, a lot thinner, and the wire's a lot thinner on this than it is on them, so that'll be good for loss. Uh, this one here has a dual input, and what I want to do is what I was doing before. Uh, at one point, I had running two separate amps into a combiner but this has separate amplification stages for VHF one for UHF so I could eliminate one cable and one amplifier and plugging in another item by just using this it has a switchable FM trap that's on this little cap right here and there's a power supply and then the other uh, power cord is in here. I haven't taken it out yet because uh, I wasn't ready to do it. But the weather's 
It was really so good today. I, I may have actually attempted to uh, take it down today and get this done. And then I got another project I'm going to do. I ordered, say, I ordered some 24 inch wall mount brackets and I might do is pick, put my, uh, put um, my FM antenna back out, which is a wine guard one, but I don't want it on the same mast. I have my Sanjean radio, HD radio here, and I'm actually thinking of putting it on the corner of the house over here. I'll show you here. I'll show you where the MXU 59 is. That's going to stay in the same place. Hopefully you can see it. Uh, hopefully you can see it sticking out. It's through the attic window. And that wire there is the rotor cable. But I wanted to put it right here on the corner. It'll stick out 24 inches. This is a pretty open area here to the west and to the east. So I was thinking about doing that um, maybe tomorrow. I, no, I can't. I, I just ordered the brackets. I can't do that until uh, Friday's my other day off. So, but uh, I want to see how this is actually going to work. Uh, if it's very comparable to the other one, I just basically use it for uh, me TV. I have the weather, local weather, uh, local ABC, NBC, uh, and the other antenna will have Fox on it. And have antenna TV um, and the my network and it's like five channels on the other antenna and what I'll do is I'll 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 make another video later in the week of it but the main thing like I said is to uh, get this uh, get this up and running take the other one down save the other amp because it's fine use that maybe on the FM or I have my um i have my uh channel master uh cm777 which has 30 db gain uh built in fm trap i have i put the trap in the out position for fm uh, i saved one of the jumpers actually that's not one of the jumpers that's part of the uh, they use coaxial uh hookups for the uh, uh, for the AC adapter as a coaxial connector and F connector so uh, I would uh, probably use this one or the other antenna craft one that's outside now for FM I think I would try this first because this is really heavy duty this rejects a lot of out, out of band uh, interference um, I'm really kind of curious uh, the electrical noise up here is normally uh, bad. Uh, we have a uh, transformer. I think you can see it on that pole, and it's it's only been up maybe three years, and it's I think it generates a lot of noise and it desenses the FM reception. So that's my get my that's my next uh, project. So I'll, I'll keep you posted on that, and we'll see how that turns out. So hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day.